hello and welcome to our another video tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to create a UI progress view using Swift UI progress view is a control that allows how to show the progress of something in iOS like you want to download an image and you want to show the user the progress of the download how much it completes then we can use UI progress view or suppose you are going to show a user how many questions he has attempted from the number of questions then we can use UI progress view so let's start it create a new Xcode project select a single view application press next we will name it as UI progress view tutorial language is swift press next we will save it here UI progress view tutorial we will save it here here the basic setup is done for the single view application go to main or storyboard from the object library search UI progress view and we will place it here and add constants so here we will give it a constant from the top view and we will set it as 100 from the right side we will give it 20 and 20 from the left and and add these three constants so now you can see this is the progress in order layout what we we can also change the height of this progress view by default it's not editable but with auto layout we can use it so add one more constant and we will give it a height of 10 Okay. So now if we run an uh, our app then we can see our progress view. Our app is running. So here you can see the progress the gray mark shows that it's not completed and the blue mark shows it's filled so you can see now that the, the, the height is changed as compared to the shown in main dot storyboard and here so if we, I change the height constraints of this progress view it will get reflected here in the simulator so let's turn the code and go to view controller create an IV outlet, IV outlet week where we will give it name progress is of type UI progress view ok and we will connect this IV outlet now let's look at the properties of this progress view the style is default progress is 0.5 every progress view has a range set from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 okay this is a progress tint we can change it here if we want the yellow tint to be shown as progress then we can see the progress and the track tint that means the color that is shown to the user as the pending part or unprogressed part so we can give it like this now we can see here this, this yellow part is showing that this is the progress done and blue part is showing that this is the remaining track to be filled ok let's change the color we will give it opacity 
of 72 so now let's see how it works so by default we will set where value equals to 0, 0. Okay. so here we will write self dot progress dot progress equals to this is the progress so this is the progress property of the UI progress view that shows how much progress has been done by the process so we will give it the value and then we will run our code for in zero to ten okay let's give in there this value is to be float okay and self dot uh, don't use progress because for loop we will perform selector self dot perform selector yes selector update progress view with nil and after delay of 1.0 seconds and here we will write the code function update progress view and this here we will implement value equals to value plus point two and then we will write if value is not equals to one point zero then call this method again after one point zero okay and here we will give self dot progress dot progress equals to float well so let's see what happens so here you can see now it's progressing okay so this is the progress view so it's showing the progress of something that is downloaded or moving or if we want to change it then we can also show its point 0 0.1 and see what is happening if we look more beautiful like now it's showing the progress that something is downloaded so this is the UI progress view in iOS app development using Swift language you can also specify the progress color this coming let's say self dot progress dot this is the progress tint color property you can also give it progress image track image track tint color this is the track tint color the color shown for the portion of the process bar that is not filled you can give it track image progress image so there are many more options available for this progress view and we will cover those in the later tutorials okay so let's see how our progress view moves now it's just carrying on carrying on so it's give a user a very beautiful thing to that if you are downloading it if you are not downloading if you are downloading the image then you can use it or if you want to show the progress of certain things that are predefined then you can use UI progress view oh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed our tutorial then please share and like and subscribe to our channels uh, that gives us inf inspiration to, cre uh, to create more video tutorials for our viewers thanks for watching have a nice time bye bye for now thank you